All right, in this video, we are going to talk about the event A and B. So if I have two events, A and B, right, I can form a new event called A and B. And that event A and B is the event that both event A and event B occur, okay? So uh, to form that event, right, the event A and B consist of all elements in the sample space that are common to both event A and event B. So there, it's everything in the sample space that's an element of both A and also an element of event B, okay? So that's A and B. All right, so let's take a look at this example. So in this example, our um, sample space, our event, our experiment rather, is rolling a die to see what number comes up. All right, so our sample space is uh, the set of numbers one through six, okay? And so A is going to be the event that the die comes up as an odd number. So A is going to be one, three, the set containing one, three, or five, right? Uh, because those are the odd numbers. And then event B is going to be the event that a number four or bigger is rolled. So that would mean you roll a four, or a five or a six, right? So if you wanna look at these listed out, right, our sample space is the numbers one through six. Our event A is the number, the numbers one, three, and five. Our event B is the numbers four, five, and six. And now what we wanna do is to calculate the event A and B, okay? So what I would do is look at all of the elements in the sample space that are common to both A and B, okay? So if you look at one, one's in A, but not in, is not in B, so it would not be here. Two is not in either of these, so it's not common to those. Three is in A, but not in B, so it would not be in A and B. Four is in B, right, but not A. Five is in A and also in B, so five would be in the element A and B. All right, and six is in event B, but not in A. So the event A and B consist of only one element of the sample space, and that's five, right? And it kind of makes sense, right, if I said, hey, I, I rolled an, an odd number that's four or bigger, well, that pretty much narrows it down, right, to being a five, okay? So that is the event A and B. You just take everything that's common to both these events. All right, next um, example. It, our experiment is drawing a card from a standard deck of cards and observing the suit of the drawn card, all right? Our sample space is clubs, diamonds, hearts, and spades, right? And R is the event that a red card is drawn, okay? So a red card would be a diamond or hearts. And B in this case is the event that the card drawn is a club, okay? So that's what these uh, would look like, all right? And what we would wanna do is to calculate the event A and B, right? Uh, so we would look through our sample space, right? And to figure out what um, is common, right? To, oops, sorry, it should say R and B, right? Rather here. Let me just see how, if that's, yes, R and B. Okay, so we, they want us to calculate R and B. So uh, we would look through all the things in the sample space and we would pick out all the things in the sample space that are both in R and also in B. And you can see, right, there is nothing in common, right? Uh, diamonds is in R but not in B. Hearts is in R but not in B. Clubs are in uh, B but not R, and then spades is in neither of these things, right? And so therefore, there is nothing in common. And in that case, right, the subset of the sample space is just the empty set. There is nothing in common 
with, um, with these. Uh, we will talk about this in a video, uh, a subsequent video. Um, events that have nothing in common like this are called mutually exclusive. Okay. Next example is the horse racing example again. It says, in a horse race, the odds against winning are shown. Uh, yeah, we've already gone over this. Uh, and so we want to calculate the uh, events C and D here. So C and D. All right, and then uh, we'll have to remember what C was. C was the event that the winning horse's number is at most three. Okay, so yeah, that's the one that we just did and then D is the event that one of the two long shots wins and the long shots are the ones with the highest numbers right the highest odds so that would be number two and number five so D would be the event consisting of a two and a five so it would look like this okay and now what we want are all the things in the sample space that are common to both C and D. And by now you could see probably pretty easily that that is only going to be a two. Two is the only element of the sample space that is in both the event C and in the event D, right? So uh, if a long shot wins and the number is at most three, well then it has to be number two. All right, and one more example of A and B, and here I'm probably going to uh, use this again so we don't have to write a whole bunch on the computer. Okay, so um, first um, here we want to calculate A and B, right? And then A is the event that exactly two heads are tossed. All right, so that one is going to be um, not the easiest one to draw. I guess I'll just use this. I actually messed up taking that other one, so all right. Now let's just try again. Oh, here it is. Yes, all right. The event that exactly two heads are tossed. All right, so let's just circle those. Um, nope, gotta do that again, it's all right. All right, so event A we're gonna do in red. All right, so exactly two heads are tossed. So we're looking through here and we're trying to find ones that have exactly two heads in them. This has one, this has two, right? So let's just circle these, otherwise it's gonna to be tough. This one has two heads. Two heads here, two heads here, two heads here. These have okay, so that's A, all the ones that are circled. All right, and then B, let's switch colors to blue. B is the event that the first two tosses are tails, okay? So that would be ones that start out TT, and that's all of these right here. Okay, uh, so that is B. Okay, so we want A and B. So we can see the only one that is circled in both red 
and in blue is this one right here. So that's T T H H. All right, and so that's A and B for that example. All right. All right, and that's it for the and. In the next video, we'll take a look at uh, one more um, compound event, and that's A or B.